Hey, it's Matt with Elite Industries. We're here with Brent with SoFast, and he's gonna take us out on the lake today, and we're gonna shoot some instructional videos on proper procedures, uh, how to forklift, uh, or how to fork a lift out of the mud, and just some fun things like that so that you can be more efficient, more safe on an Elite product. Okay, Matt with Elite Industries. We got Brent Foster and SoFast out here and we're just gonna talk a little bit about preventative maintenance. So Brent, how often do you uh, grease your bars, do that sort of thing? If you just kind of want to walk around and I'll just kind of reiterate with you, I'll follow you around and... So daily, good habit with daily would be to get on your boat, go around and check all welds, all pivot points, all greasable joints, just inspect visually, look for any cracks, fatigue, paint cracking, anything like that, that might be something that would be concerned. Otherwise, I grease about twice a week, unless I know for sure there's gonna be a bunch of forking um, at a certain place where it's gonna get really abused, I'll fork that, or grease that morning. Okay, so let's let's just walk through really quick. Where's the, just show us the grease points, show us what you, okay. what yep. you grease up. Uh, drive shaft grease points, very, very important. Chain, chain lube, chain tension is another thing that's pretty, pretty key. Um, you got, of course, same points over here. You want to check for any fatigue cracking around pivot points, pivot areas. Um, you want your shaft to be nice and straight, ch checking for that. Let's board a little more. There's tons of pivot points in Greece. On, I think there's actually like nine. Yeah, I think right there's seven, there? seven. Seven. One three. grease circ here, grease circ there, and then five in the back. And there's even one hidden here. Yep, and there's. You almost have to have it lifted up to get the back side of them. Yep. And you want to check bolt tightness, um, any structural issues here, if the paint's cracking. It's real, real important that this all stay solid and, and not no fatigue or cracks or loose bolts. Yep, and then on your lock rod here, when you're going through your inspection, and at Elite, we have a, a walkthrough sheet that we're more than happy to share with you. So it's, I don't know, it's like 78 items long. We'll kind of, you know, just reiterate that fact of what to check uh, and, you know, touch every nut and bolt when you do it. But uh, your coupler right here, your lock rod for, you know, throwing or switching from forking down to forking up. Just make sure that this hasn't slid at all. That's going to mess with your throw as far as front to back. So if you have winches, winches are very similar to the front drive shaft. Uh, you got a chain, so, you know, lube that chain up. Uh, tension you can you can easily loosen up the bolts on the hydraulic motor and you can you know loosen those up slide your chain so you have proper chain tension tighten it back up if you have downriggers there's four grease zerks uh, on the downriggers and it's also important to hit those as well as lube that chain you got a 15 foot of chain on your downriggers so make sure that you lube that chain up there also hoses are a key thing too you always want to check chafing spots areas there underneath there even back by the motor where it sh shimmies a lot, I've blown several of them hoses just just from the vibration of the engine against them. Even after you have rubbers, it still chafes on Yeah, right, your suction supply lines for your hydraulic pump, uh, just double check there and just do, do once over on it, make sure you're not wearing through your hose. More weld points, check these areas here. Areas here, the rollers on the forks, the backside rubber rollers. You can visually inspect them with the forks all the way in. I've had them fail before. Yep. And you'll, you'll notice things will start to bind and, and feel different when, when something like that happens. So. There is, uh, Brent's talking about that, the wheel on the back side of the fork. There is a zerk on that wheel, like he said. And then there's also three consumable poly blocks on those forks. There's one on the bottom side and two, uh, uh, two on the sides, one on either side. So actually what you can do is pull these pins out, can actually lift the H-frame up in the back a little bit, slide your forks out. There's enough chain on the bottom side to slide your forks out and inspect those items on there. 